In today's video, we are going to discuss how to find the cube of a binomial and we are going to start with a simple to complex example and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we are talking about cube of binomial, it consists of four terms. The first term will be the cube of the first term, the second term thrice the product of the square of the first term and second term, the third term will be thrice the product of the first term and square of the second term, and the last term will be the cube of the second term. As you can see in symbol, we have the cube of a plus b. So to simplify this one, let us have the cube of the first term that is a cube. And the second term that is 3, which is constant, times the square of the first term times the second term that is 3a square b. And to find the third term, let us have the constant 3 multiplied by the first term times the square of the second term that is 3ab square. And to find the last term, that is b raised to 3. And as you can see, if you are going to have a minus b, the only difference is the second term and last term is negative. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for you to simplify cube of a binomial. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have quantity x plus y raised to 3. So to simplify this one, let us have the cube of the first term, that is x raised to 3 plus 3 times the square of the first term multiplied by the second term that is y. So we are going to have 3x square y plus 3 times the first term multiplied by the square of the second term. That is 3xy raised to 2. And to find the last term, let us have the cube of the second term that is y raised to 3. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have quantity x minus 2 raised to 3. Just like an example number 1, let us have first the cube of the first term that is x raised to 3 plus 3, that is a constant, multiplied by the square of the first term that is x square multiplied by the second term that's negative 2. And to find the third term, let us have 3 times the first term multiplied by the square of the second term that's negative 2 raised to 2. And to find the last term, let us have negative 2 raised to 3. And to simplify this one, let us have x cubed and then 3x squared multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 6x squared. And then let us have negative 2 raised to 2, that is positive 4, and positive 4 multiplied by 3x, that is 12x and then we have negative 2 raised to 3 that is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 that is negative 8 and this will be our answer example number 3 we have the quantity of 3x plus 4y raised to 3 so to simplify this one let us have the cube of the first term so we are going to have 3x raised to 3 plus the constant 3 multiply by the square of the first term that is 3x raised to 2 multiply by the second term that is 4y and to find the third term let us have 3 multiply by the first term that is 3x times the square of the second term that is 4y raised to 2 and to find the last term let us have the cube of the second term that is 4y raised to 3 so let us simplify let us have 3x raised to 3, that is 27x cubed. And then, let us multiply this one first. 3 multiplied by 4y, that is 12y. And the square of 3x is 9x square. And then, let us multiply this one, that is 9x multiplied by the square of 4y, that is 16y square plus the cube of 4y that is 64y raised to 3. And to write our final answer, this will be 27x cubed and 12y multiplied by 9x squared that is 108x squared y plus 9x multiplied by 16y squared 
that is 144 x y square plus 64 y raised to 3. And this will be our final answer. On example number 4, we have quantity 2x square minus 3y cubed raised to 3. So let us have the cube of the first term that is 2x square raised to 3 plus the constant 3 multiplied by the square of the first term that is 2x square raised to 2 times the second term that's negative 3y cubed. And then let us have the third term that is 3 times the first term which is 2x square multiplied by the square of the second term that's negative 3y cubed raised to 2 plus the cube of the second term that is negative 3y cubed raised to 3. So let us simplify. Let us have the cube of 2x square that is 8x, let us multiply 2 and 3, that is 6. And let us multiply this one. 3 multiplied by negative 3y cubed, that is negative 9y cubed, multiplied by the square of 2x squared, that's 4x raised to 4. And then 3 multiplied by 2x squared, that is 6x squared, Multiply by the square of negative 3y cubed, that's 9y raised to 6, plus the cube of negative 3y cubed, that is negative 27y raised to 9. And to write our final answer, this will be 8x raised to 6, and then negative 9y cubed times 4x raised to 4, that is negative 36 x raised to 4 y raised to 3 and then we have 6 x square multiplied by 9 y raised to 6 that is positive 54 x square y raised to 6 and then positive times negative is negative 27 y raised to 9 and this will be our answer. Example number 5, we have the cube of 2s square r cubed plus 3q raised to 4. So to simplify this one, let us have the cube of the first term that is 2s square r cubed raised to 3 plus 3, that is a constant, times the square of the first term that is 2s square r cubed raised to 2 times the second term that is 3q raised to 4 plus the third term that is 3 times the first term which is 2s square r cubed times the square of the second term that is 3q raised to 4 square. And to find the last term, let us cube the second term that is 3q raised to 4 raised to 3. So let us simplify. The cube of 2s square r cubed, that is 8s, let us multiply 2 and 3, that is 6r raised to 9. And then let us have this one. 3 times 3q raised to 4, that is 9q raised to 4 times the square of 2s square r cubed, that's 4s raised to 4 r raised to 6 and then let's multiply this one that is 3 times 2 s square r cubed that is 6 s square r cubed times the square of 3 q raised to 4 that's 9 q raised to 8 plus the cube of 3 q raised to 4 that is 27 q raised to 12 and to write our final answer this will be 8 s raised to 6 r raised to 9 and then 9 q raised to 4 times 4 s raised to 4 r raised to, r raised to 6 that is 36 s raised to 4 
R raised to 6, Q raised to 4. And then 6 times 9, that is 54, S squared, R cubed, Q raised to 8, plus 27, Q raised to 12. And this will be our answer. In our last example, we have the cube of 5a square b square over 3 plus 3x square y square over 2. So to simplify, let us have the cube of the first term that is 5a square b square over 3 raised to 3. And to find the second term, let us have the constant 3 times the square of the first term that is 5a square b square over 3 raised to 2. Multiply by the second term that is 3x square y square over 2 plus the third term that is the constant 3 times the first term which is 5a square b square over 3 times the square of the second term that is 3x square y square over 2 raised to 2. And to find the last term, let us have the cube of the second term, that is 3x squared, y squared over 2, raised to 3. So let us simplify. Let us have the cube of 5a squared, b squared over 3. So let us distribute the exponent and the numerator and denominator. So the cube of 5a squared, b squared, that is 125a raised to 6 b raised to 6 over 3 cubed, that is 27. And then, let us multiply this one first. So 3 times 3x squared y squared over 2, that is 9x squared y squared over 2, multiplied by the square of 5a squared b squared over 3, that is 25a raised to 4, b raised to 4 over 9. That is 3 square. That's 9. And then, let us cancel this one. We are going to have 5a square b square times the square of 3x square y square over 2. That is 9x square raised to 4. y raised to 4 over 2 square. That is 4. And then, let us have the cube of this one. That is... 27x raised to 6, y raised to 6, over 2 cubed, that is 8. So, let us simplify. Let us write 125a raised to 6, b raised to 6, over 27. So, we can cancel 9. We are going to have 25a raised to 4, b raised to 4, x square y square all over 2 and then let us have 5 times 9 that's 45 a square b square x raised to 4 y raised to 4 all over 4 and then let us write this one that's 27 x raised to 6 y raised to 6 over 8 and this will be our final answer So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.